The Singapore government says it needs to act now to show up the media capabilities of Singapore press holdings. Parliament has been told that failure to do so could put local language papers at risk, which could hurt Singapore's multiracial fabric. Minister for Communications and Information S. Iswaran has been explaining the government's support for the SBH restructure. Nadia Mokta reports. As Prince Ed revenue continues to dwindle, the vitality and viability of the local media industry is under threat. The financial pressure means SPH runs the risk of its media capabilities hollowing out. The immediate pressure will inevitably be on our vernacular papers, some with relatively small circulations, which would have a profound detrimental impact on the multiracial fabric of our society. Without a responsible and high-quality local media, the quality of our public debate and discourse will be compromised, and we will slowly but inexorably become less cohesive as a society. Mr. Warren adds that the local media serves as voices of Singapore's communities. They also help to sustain a common ground in a multiracial and multi-religious society. Mr. Warren says SBH's predicament is not unique, as newsrooms around the world are shrinking or even closing. At the same time, he also spoke on the media landscape here. Ours is a small local market with just two main local news media organisations, SPH and Mediacorp. While there are potential synergies and opportunities for collaboration between them, we can ill afford the convulsions and closures we have seen elsewhere, with a consequential loss of diversity and choice in our media landscape. The government says it will provide funding support to SPH's new media entity, which will be a company limited by guarantee, or CLG. But it doesn't think this will affect its relationship with the SPH newsroom. They report and analyse the news fully and objectively, not holding back bad news nor advancing any singular ideological view or agenda, but focused on Singapore's interests. The government and the media will not see eye to eye on every issue and incident, but that is to be expected. And that is how SPH and Mediacorp have operated hitherto, and that is how the government expects the CLG to continue to operate after the proposed restructuring. Mr. Iswanen adds that the success of restructuring ultimately depends on journalists and their commitment to produce quality work. Former Transport Minister Ko Boon Wan will be the chairman of Singapore Press Holdings' new media entity after the reorganization's restructuring. A communications and information minister, S. W. S. Waran, says the decision came after a discussion with current management shareholders who have also agreed to form the CLG. They include banks, UOB and DBS, and insurance groups Great Eastern and NTUC Income.